Our next story is a study about how awkward silence makes you feel. Even if it's just a span of four seconds, the effects that it has on people. So there was a study in Holland on 102 students and they put them in different scenarios. Well, they gave them two stories. Sorry, go ahead. One story for, uh, which included the pause, where you know they had a regular conversation with someone else and they made a faux pas. And the second story is where the conversation didn't break up at all, it just kept going right through. smoothly. Right, and so the students who, I guess, heard the conversation, right? And they made the full pause, there was a slight pause. They felt rejected, rejected and they also felt low self-esteem was one of and the things is, they mentioned. They didn't give these students any type of cues, they didn't let them know, they just let it happen naturally. Right. Right, they didn't say, okay, at this time you're going to hear a four-second pause. That didn't happen. No. They just, you know, read Here's through two it. two stories. Yeah. Go. Yeah. So, that's what they felt when they heard the pause. And then they, they did the study again. And the next story, I think, was about a teacher and student sex relationships or sexual relationships. And then again, you know, when they were talking about it, there was the, the break of, I guess, four seconds. And then when they ran right through it, the students who... Uh, were listening to the story and then there was the pause after you know discussing the teacher and student sexual relationship they said they felt the same low self-esteem and they felt rejected and then the second one where they just flowed right through it it was just no fine yeah it was like you know another I think it's interesting the whole idea that there is power dynamics even with conversation where a little pause can, can just make totally so much. Can just shatter you yeah because, you know, you're searching right there. In another four seconds, you're searching, like, what's that person thinking? You know, did I just say something I shouldn't have said? What is that person thinking? And you're kind of waiting on the person to either respond in a good way or in a bad way. There's always that power dynamic. What do you think? Did it make you feel awkward in that silent moment? No, <laughs> no I think it's interesting, too. I think... It's something you don't notice, right? You don't think, all right, in these four seconds, geez, I'm going to feel so crappy about myself because no one's talking for four seconds. That's so crazy to me. That within that little span of time, so much but can happen inside you. What they also didn't get to mention was, not only are you talking about conversation, but you're talking about body language. So when someone, you say, hey, fatty, and the other person's kind of like, no words are exchanged, but you see the look in that person's face and they kind of look at you in a certain way. So you kind of just left there hanging, uh, I just, did I just F up right here? <laughs> so you know, I, they have to talk about the body language and they got to talk about the actual conversation. Right, the whole context, I guess, right? That too as well. Because you don't know that, you know, it's different when you talk to your friends or your parents or right. teachers or at work. You bring out a different type of voice. And we're both, and both the stories were identical, right? Except one had a break somewhere in it. It didn't say. Because that would be interesting too. Because the sex, the sex between the student and the teacher, would be interesting. Like the first story was like, you know, then the teacher ripped the student's shirt off. Pause. You know, that would make you feel a little, geez, you know. And then maybe the second story could have been like, and then the teacher and the student, you know, went out for lunch and made love in the middle of the night. That one would be less, I guess have less impact on you. And you know, and, and even though you do <clears throat> feel that hint of rejection, I think they also didn't mention the whole idea of you know, humans are, res you know, resilient. Right. That yeah, we're going to feel that rejection, but you know, whatever that goes down to, you'll move on. Yeah, so that's it. Phase. Yeah. It's just usually that change of attitude, that change of what you're feeling inside right. is actually happening, but it's not something that's going to last forever. 